Hey everybody, Kenny here. Welcome back to our Octopath Traveler 2 playthrough. It has been a while. I just finished wrapping up my final regular video for the current Path of Exile League. And so I can finally get back to focusing on Octopath for a while at least. The 12 9. Yep, that should be where we left off. I'm honest with you, I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> was I going to be doing a grinding session this time? Was I going to be progressing the story? I don't remember. The level 34 Agnea. So 45 Pasty. So 45 Fratissio. So 45 Throne. Level 36 Oswald. Level 37 Ochet and Temenos. 39 Ari. She's the lowest, so we'll start with her. Yeah, with everybody fully equipped. Good. I got all of these, right? Now I did. I said, now if I wanted to, I could run a full warrior party. I still haven't gone and collected all of the lore for the, uh, the merchant guy. I really need to go do that. Yeah, so maybe this was supposed to be a grinding session. But I don't remember. I mean, I really want to go and get that lore, though. I really do. And so I'll just, yeah, this will just be a grinding session, just because I really want to go and grab all of the lore up here. Demi-humans, a study. Demi-humans are creatures that resemble humans, and yet are entirely different beasts. There are eight major types currently known. The verminous ratkin, reptilian lizardmen, and the avian birdian. The amphibian frogans, the simian apes, the subterran moles, the feline cape, and the cephalopodian octopuffs. Demi-humans have displayed a propensity for a much higher levels of intelligence than monsters, and are known to employ tools to some extent in their daily lives. Yet to this day, their origins remain shrouded in mystery. According to the histories, they simply appeared one day, as if by magic, throughout the world. On Cates Cates are a skittish race, the most timid of all the demi-humans. According to myth, there was once a great war fought between humanity and the demi-humans. The conflict was long and bloody, but in the end, humanity emerged the victor. Through wisdom and foresight, the Cade alone sided with mankind during this strife, and this alliance won them a place within human society. Unfortunately, 
The clever and cunning nature of the Kate soon earned them the ire of their neighbors, and before long they found themselves ostracized and cast out, labeled as traitors by demi-humans and human societies. Kate withdrew from both and from both to pursue isolated lives hidden away from all who might do them harm. The smell of beloved, delicious catnip seems to be the only thing that can draw them out of the hidden places they call home. I wonder if that means that there's like a, a Kate village somewhere. All about octopuffs. Octopuffs are the most independent of all the demi-humans, and are the only ones that choose not to participate in the mythological war between humanity and the demi-humans. They are known to prefer travel to battle, and it is said that they only stop their wanderings when their time on this earth is over. There are many superstitions surrounding the Octopuff. Their passion for travel and idealistic search for paradise has led some to believe they are symbols of good fortune. There are even rumors that only those pure of heart can encounter them. Of course, adults who have long ago lost the innocence of childhood can still employ cunning to improve their odds of encountering these rare creatures. Octopuffs favor small, dark spaces and so the shrewd use octopuff pots to draw them out. Octopuff pots. Hmm. Riddles of the Demi-Humans All Demi-Humans possess a certain modicum of intelligence. For example, Ratkin are known to steal and employ human weaponry and clothing. And Birdians possess the ability to craft primitive stone axes. And yet, the burning question remains unanswered. Who fabricated the crowns and other ornaments the demi-human leaders are often seen wearing? As far as we know, demi-humans do not possess the technology or art to craft such intricate accessories. More curious yet, both the make and material of these ornaments are clearly not of human design. Where did they come from? Where, for the matter, did the demi-humans themselves come from? This is merely a theory without any evidence to support it, but perhaps these strange creatures hail from another world entirely. The Great Wall in Myth and Legend Parting the south of Stormhail in the Winterlands is, a, is the Great Wall, a colossal construction that has, kept long, has long kept the town safe from external threats. Local legend states this massive fortification was raised in a single night by the gods themselves. Dirty and strong, yet intricate in its design, it is clear that this wall is indeed a feat of engineering beyond what, beyond what modern civilization is capable of. The legend of this wall continues thus. The Great Wall is merely one small segment of small greater fortress. Of some greater fortress. And the central citadel itself lies deep underground. Many archaeologists have spent years attempting to uncover this hidden redoubt to no avail. More curious is the event that occurred some 820 years ago. An enormous cavity suddenly appeared in the Great Wall. Though none know who created it or how, Later given the name of the Pit of Darkest, it was the catalyst for the conflict between the fallen kingdoms of Fjall and Delstash. This struggle would later be known as the War of the Great Wall. Sorry about that. Gate to the Netherworld. The poet Kaye penned this passage some hundred years ago. On an island lost in the sea split twain lies a portal to the to an alien plane. Beware, be warned, ye fools who'd approach, for none should draw near this gate encroach. When Kaye first published this passage, it was assumed this island was a mere figment. Product of the poet's 
of, the po of a poet's overactive imagination. However, in recent years, Kaye's less well-known history as an adventurer has come to light, and scholars have begun to debate whether his poems were not fantasy, but in fact annals of his travels. A warning for you who reads this entry. Though the existence of a portal to an alien plane seems preposterous, we must remember that what seemed impossible yesterday becomes common sense tomorrow. Sneer at what you don't understand at your own peril, for one day you may find yourself on the wrong side of truth. Sorry. On weaponsmithing. There exist only six primary weapon category. Swords, pole arms, axes, daggers, bows, and staves. Actually, this is not an accurate statement. Bound by the rules of the Blacksmith Guild, manufacturer of weapons outside of these six categories is strictly forbidden. Why limit the scope of human imagination? Religion, of course. The six weapon types who are wielded by the gods. Six weapon types are those wielded by the gods, and they will tolerate no other. Or at least that is the lie disguised the greedy truth. As the lie disguising the greedy truth. Fact is, it is much easier to monopolize the materials and techniques for armed production if you can limit what can be made. Or so a little bird told me anyway. Whatever the truth. This prohibition has resulted in very few wielders of whips, flails, and so on. Chanted and Magical Weapon Among the many weapons one may find in this world, some are imbued with magical properties. These enchanted weapons are both rare and powerful. There are two primary means of crafting an enchanted weapon. The first sounds simple in principle, but is in fact quite difficult to achieve. You craftsmen possess the necessary skills. To be put, magic must be carefully folded into the weapon during the forging process. The second method is much rarer and harder to replicate. These enchanted weapons gain their power naturally, their magic imbued over many years of use by a gifted wielder. Very few of these have been documented, and it is thought that only those with incredibly powerful wills can make these miraculous weapons bring into being. On Ornamentation What is ornamentation? Literally interpreted, it refers to ornaments worn for fashion, like a big floppy garish hat. This assumption is a common one, but it is, in fact, erroneous. The truth of the matter is that True ornamentation refers only to special jewels crafted by dedicated sacred craftsmen. craftsmen. Only a handful of leaders are permitted to wear these ornamentations, partly because many of them are imbued with unique magical properties. Prime examples would be an amulet that protects against offensive magic, or a necklace that greatly increases the abilities of the wearer. Unfortunately, the knowledge and techniques needed to craft these potent relics are slowly being lost, and their rarity is only bound to increase as the sands of time continue to fall. Battle Tested Arm Armaments To the victor go the spoils, a long-standing tradition adhered by those who live on who live by the sword. The stronger Take from the strong until, at last, the day comes when the ultimate warrior and ultimate weapon are united. When a weapon has triumphed over countless foes, remaining undefeated in the hands of a skilled wielder, it becomes what is known as a battle-tested armament. Nowhere is it written that these armaments must be a masterwork. Crafted by a renowned smith, no, these weapons are forged in the fires of battle. As they taste the blood of innumerable mighty warriors, they awaken to a greater power that dwarfs that of their humble origins. Are they saying that if you take a regular weapon, 
and you use it to fight like a thousand enemies, that it'll get stronger, or are they just saying that certain weapons are enchanted because of the fact that someone else did that, but the player can't actually do that? More battle-tested armaments. Bard Singh of legendary weapons passed down through countless ages. After untold thousands of fierce battles and stunning victories, they have acquired power beyond imagining. A sword that can cleave the sun, a spear that can pierce the moon, a dagger that can send all stars in the sky tumbling down, an axe that can split the earth in twain, a bow that can transfix the heavens, a staff that can call, a, call up a calamities untold. Of course, these are mere turns of phrase, exaggerations no doubt. Still, very few know the true power of the battle-tested armaments. Why, you ask? Because most of these weapons have long stepped in graves beneath the soil. Yeah. You can't make them like you can... Like, they're just ultimate weapons that you can find at some point. Find weapons and arms master. In times of yore, the gods entrusted humanity with six divine weapons so that they could protect themselves from evil. Conqueror's sword, the warlord's spear, dancer's blade, the lionheart's axe, the hunter's bow, and the spirit lord's staff. It is said that each of these weapons houses no, that each of these weapons houses incredible power, that those who can unlock it will earn themselves the title of arms master. And yet, the divine weapons were too mighty for humankind. Driven by greed and ambition, the arms masters soon began to quarrel amongst themselves. One by one, these artifacts were lost, and with them the skills and knowledge needed to wield them. Still, there are some who remember. Among these learned few, it is thought that rightful heirs to the secrets of these weapons still reside in this land, passing their knowledge down through generations of chosen successors. Of course, this is more likely than not just an empty fantasy. History of Grapes and Plums Grapes, delicious grapes. They heal the body while the tart juices of the plum revitalize the spirit. These two restorative fruits are ubiquitous throughout the world. Yet there is a darker side to these innocuous, seeming treats. According to some myths, their cultivation was forbidden to man by the gods themselves. There are many tales why, but two stand out above all. Firstly, the devilish liquid called liquor can be easily made from their juices. The gods do not look with favor on those who drown themselves in drink. The second most widespread story states that they were prohibited because of how easily they could be turned to use as tools of war. Whichever of these myths may be true, it seems that humanity has broken a sacred promise with the divine. Lychee Import The lychee, a succulent fruit from the outer continent that activates the latent power of an individual. Though its benefit, beneficial effects are equal Though its beneficial effects are well documented, it is equally well known for the difficulty of its cultivation. Many talented farmers and merchants have tried their hand at raising crops of lychee over the years, but none of their efforts have borne fruit. Meanwhile, a baseless rumor has long made the rounds in the cultivation community. According to some, the lychee must drink the blood of humans to reduce its yield. This sinister story has been the cause of many tragedies, as unscrupulous, well, unscrupulous fools seek to write their fortune in their victim's blood. Because of this, the lychee has earned itself an unpalatable appellation, the vampire fruit. Nut Cultivation Nuts, nuts, nuts. Fruit of certain trees with the hard shell concealing nutrient-rich meat and seed within. Nuts are enjoyed the world round and fruits as foodstuffs. However, not all nuts are created equal. Those harvested from some wild trees have powerful effects that are proven to enhance 
a human's abilities. Scholars have classified these as rare nuts and have poured blood, sweat, and tears into cracking the secrets to cultivation these precious secrets to cultivating these precious products. Yet little progress has been made. It seems the moment that cultivation is attempted, the nuts lose their special properties. The mystery remains unsolved, and so these nuts remain a highly sought after pro highly sought after and prized commodity. On concoction. Concoction is the process by which two or more materials are mixed together to craft medicine. Legend states that it was Dodor the Charitable who bestowed this holy art upon humanity. Yet the truth is more impressive by far. Generations of healers have, through trial and error, discerned the medicinal effects of plants, seeds, stones, and more. They mixed, brewed, and ultimately tested their concoctions upon themselves, testament to humanity's bravery and sacrifice in the, its pursuit of knowledge. Concoction, however, is not simply knowledge of ingredients of ingredient properties. No, a skilled apothecary must know how to judge a patient's symptoms and measure the correct amounts of, to treat their ills. As such, any apothecary able to simultaneously mix three ingredients is a master of their craft. Any who can mix four can be considered a genius. Though it is not impossible to mix more than this number, this monumental feat is almost unheard of. Pulls of the Soul Stone Soul stones are items which, when subjected to a significant amount of physical shock, can unleash effects equivalent to certain spells. Though the exact process by which this occurs remains a mystery, it has long been hypothesized that they are stones that have been imbued with the power of spirits. Recent studies, however, have given rise to a new theory that has been gaining traction among the learned. According to this theory, those stones are the crystallized remains of a magically potent monster's corpse. If this theory is true, it may become possible for us to artificially mass-produce mighty soul stones in not too distant future. The question then becomes, to what use will we put this power once it is in our hands? Though I am excited by the possibilities, I also find myself terrified of them in equal measure. Herbs and their uses. There are many afflictions which can plague a patient. There are many afflictions which can plague. Ah, sorry. There are many afflictions which can plague a patient, and each requires a special, a specific, a very specific herbal remedy. Confusingly enough, herb used to treat. Alright. Confusingly enough, herb used to treat all of the standard gamut of ailments is the same herb weed. This useful herb's effects can vary greatly depending on how it is prepared. Taken in one sense, it should go. Taken in one sense, it shows how precious this medicinal plant is. Taken in another, it shows just how simple the human, human body's makeup can be. As a side note, herb weed can be used to add a bit of zest to cuisine. How grand. Not only can it speed someone's, someone along the road to recovery, but it can speed them to the dinner table as well. The Origin of Bottling In the arid lands of Hinayoma, having a good bottle of water can mean the difference between life and death. To better store and preserve every last drop of precious liquid, people poured much effort into perfecting the art of bottle crafting. Among all the many types of bottles, those crafted by the small Recon clan are the finest. Manufactured through secret methods, 
They are unmatched in their lightweight construction and durable frames. Fortunately for the Recon clan, their monopolization of these secrets earned them the ire and jealousy of other clans, eventually sparking a bloody conflict. Nevertheless, the Recon clan lacked in military strength. Nevertheless, what the Recon clan lacked in military strength, they made up for in brutal cunning. Their victory became assured after they hit upon the idea of filling their bottles with poison and flinging them at their enemies. It was thus that the defensive martial art known as bottling was born. Beastling, fo Beastling Foodways Beastlings are tenacious hunters, known to stalk their quarry for days on end. Their vocation requires not just skills at tracking and felling beasts, though, but at preserving the meat of their prey as well. The earliest developed methods of preservation were simple. Salting and drying are easy and effective. Eventually, however, tired of the same old fare, there were those who sought tastier techniques. Lava steaming, salt water tenderization, underground fermentation, all of these and more were passed down among the beasting. Over the centuries, this led to development of unique culinary cultures. Nowadays, in the kitchens of New Delta's most fashionable bistros, famed chefs find inspiration in the beasting's innovations and you know, innovative methods. Etymology of Leaf as Currency Name Herbweed, a miraculous plant required to craft every variety of healing herb, its discovery revolutionized medicine and saved innumerable lives, earning it the epithet, the plant of the gods. Unfortunately, herbweed is notoriously difficult to cultivate and only grows natively in a few limited regions. Because of this, as the apothecary art advanced, so did the value and rarity of this irreplaceable ingredient. Eventually, this caused its price to spiral out of control. To curb this growing problem, various, various lands put ministers or lords in charge of overseeing herb weed production and trade, and soon the price of each precious leaf was fixed. This stability eventually led merchants, commoners, and nobles alike to begin using leaves in place of their other currency. Disputable though this is, it is widely believed that the origin of leaf, as common parlance for currency, originates from this time. History of Hinayoma Southwest Celestia, where the desert lands stretch as far as the eye can see, and yet hidden among the barren dunes as an oasis, strip of semi-arid terrain running north and south running north and south along the river lands and yet hidden among the barren dunes is an oasis strip of semi-arid terrain running north and south along the river lands here the soil is fertile and barely here the soil is fertile, and barley and corn can be grown in relative abundance. Countless wars have been waged over the water and resources of this region, and not few kingdoms have risen and fallen in this place over the centuries. It is also here that legends of priestess Inoue Kagura, the conjurer goddess, have survived and been passed down. It is these tales that lend this land its name, Inoeuma. In the eyes of the desert sits Sai, a fortress city known as the Orochi Bastion. Once held by the forces of U, it was taken by Ku two decades ago. Northwest of this can be found Ryu, as well known travelers stop where information from all the world eventually settles. One might be surprised that so many disturbingly short names like Hu and U are common to the desert regions. Locals say the propensity for brevity is because the longer the mouth flaps, the more sand finds its way in. 
The truth of the matter is unknown. History of the Wildland Northwest of Celestia is a barren wasteland, a blasted expanse of volcanic rock that resists even the loneliest blade of grass. The few brave souls who eke out their existence here have long suffered the sulfuric whims of Biatsuro and unstable neighbors. And yet, life always finds a way. Among the rock and stone dwells the goat, an unusually large breed of goat, who subsists on meager fare of local weed. Unlike other goats, they exceed bovines in their capacity for producing milk, grow fleece more suitable for cloth than sheep, and even produce extraordinarily flavorful meat. As well, In all, manner, in all matters of livestock, they outstrip the competition, who have become known as the jewels of the wasteland. These che cheese produced from their milk is especially scrumptious, has become a local specialty. As a final note, the volcanic soil conceals a wealth of valuable minerals. Many of these mining towns have sprung up here, including the southern town of Orsrush. Established by silver merchants, Tap and Rock. Are you good? History of the Leafland. Western Celestia is home to the small lakeside kingdom of Timberrain, surrounded by great sweeps of verdant forests. This land is rich in natural resources. Thick woodland, rome, uh, thick woodland loam provides fertile ground for our agriculture, and the seemingly inexhaustible supply of trees fuels industries such as lumber and paper manufacturing. The small village of Cropdale is famous for its raspberries and peaches and its fruit pies are widely known to be especially scrumptious. That being said, this rural sediment has rural sediment. This rural settlement has an abundance of peach-centric cuisine. Peach jam, peach juice, peach salad, peach soup, sauteed peach, fried peach, pilaf, steamed peach, name a few. Some say Updale has an abundance of peach dishes, but that's simply because the locals can't. I'm sorry, this, uh, this cough is killing me. Some say Cropdale has an overabundance of peach dishes. That's simply because the locals just can't decide on a favorite. In the south of this area, one can find the town of Wellgrove. Though it has grown wealthy throughout, wealthy through a brisk trade with the resource-poor desert regions further south, the disparity in wealth it has created is the seed for thesis conflict and turmoil along the border. History of the Harborland Southern Solistia is home to long tracts of twisting coastline, along with along which can one can find the bustling port of Canobreen. During the age of exploration, roughly a hundred years ago, ships launched from the town's piers would discover the sea routes that led to the eastern continent. Canobreen's symbol is a colossal lighthouse which guides ships from all corners of the world safely to its harbor. Erected roughly 20 years ago by Padre of Engineers, who fled the destruction of U, it boasts a unique design. Special ore was polished to a mirror sheen and fashioned into a reflector plate 
and the light it emits can supposedly be seen all the way in New Delta. Today, Canterbury's church is an important launching point for proselytizers and evangelists who come from the eastern continent to spread the teachings of the sacred flame. History of Totohaha Southeastern Celestia is dominated by an ocean dotted by countless islands of all shapes and sizes. The largest of these is Totohaha, which was the first encountered by the continental pioneers 20 years ago. In its western reaches resides the Beastling, a petite people with fluffy tails. On the east of Totohaha lies the town of Chopuhopu which was established by the first continental pioneers who settle on the island. Harbor towns, uh, tarbor, uh, the harbor town's proximity to New Delsta caused it to be developed as a resort for the wealthy. In addition, it produces many luxury goods such as delicious coffee beans and now serves as an important stop along the trade routes between eastern and western continents. Since ancient times, the Beastlings have long referred to the northern of the two islands as Aha and the southern as Toto. However, ever since the local festival celebrating the bonds of the family and the prosperity of the entire Beastling race was established, the names of both islands have been combined into one, Toto Haha. History of the Bright Land Eastern Solistia is an urban region home to the continent's largest city. Blessed by warm sunshine and pleasant climate, it soon became known as the Brightlands. Agriculture abundance, agricultural abundance caused the region to flourish. People flocked here in droves. Wealth soon followed and development soon after. Before long, buildings like theaters and game parlors were erected to entertain the ever-growing crowds and the light of the civilization shines as bright here as the sun does overhead. The center of all of this lies the Brightlands. The center of all this lies the Brightlands beating heart, New Delta, established approximately 50 years ago by immigrants from the former kingdom of Delstash. People gave this new home a name that honored their old. Finally, in the east of these lands can be found Clockbank, an industrial center that has prospered ever since the Age of Discovery. Yeah, this is actually aggravating to read. Because, like, this confirms that New Delsta isn't some podunk town. It is the city. So why is it that people are like talk about like people in New Delsta talk about oh like, I need to go to the big city. That is the big city. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Again. History of the Crestland. Northeast Celestia, and land of mountains and hills, perched high atop one stoky peak, rises Ilfric Cathedral, center of the sacred flame faith. Adherents of this religion's tenants have worshipped the sacred flame that the cathedral houses since time immemorial. Ancient record dated 1500 years ago makes mention of the sacred flame's veneration continuing since the misty days of the past. Even through the bitterly cold winds a century previous, flame continued to warm the hearts and souls of all who visited. In both name and spirit, the sacred flame and its church are the divine lords of this land. At the base of the cathedral lies the small town of Flame Church. Though its population is small, the townsfolk make a good living providing for crowds of pilgrims who travel here to visit the cathedral. 
Why are they saying that's in the northeast? Like they're that's like it's like centrally located. Who did why would they say northeast? And we can look at the Just look at the map and it's here. The northeast is here. Northeast is here. So why are they saying that this is northeast? Doesn't make sense. Am I saying northeast of the Brightlands? Since the Crestlands is technically east from the Brightlands. So technically it would be northeast of like abandoned village. I mean it still wouldn't really make sense though, since you know, like if they're, if they're talking about the Crestlands, like this is still the Crestlands over here. I don't get it. History of the Winterlands. Northern Celestia is a frozen place of snow and ice. The capital is Stormhail, a mountainous city that houses the Sacred Guard. Established roughly 380 years ago, the Sacred Guard was the brainchild of Archbishop Kinkler. After the cold snap that sailed the eastern continent of the previous century, order established its headquarters here. To this day, this holy organization's mission remains unchanged. Uphold the law and order across the continent. It is said that Stormhail owes existence to guardians. But it is said that Stormhail owes its existence to its guardian, Glacis. Residing on the sacred peak Altahe, it is thought that Glasses put an end to Cold Snap that nearly spelled doom for all who lived here. Travel towards the coast, travel towards the coast, and you will find the fishing town of Cape Cold. Great hauls of salmon, trout, mackerel, squid, and more are brought in almost daily. In addition, many who dwell here work in agriculture or textiles. And lately, a hardy species of cold resistant barley has caused quite a stir. Outer Continent The farthest edges of the four corners of Celestia are detailed on no maps. Called the Outer Continent, reasons why these vast stretches remain unexplored are many. Impassably high mountains and deadly currents, name a few. Of course, in my opinion, it is less the difficulty of the task and more the indolence that has left these areas uncharted. Think about it for a moment. Who is at war with some unnamed kingdom or kingdoms to its south? I'm so happy that it went and they, they went and and brought this up because you know the whole game I've been like, who are they? Yo, know, who are they at war with? What is what is this other country? And apparently, they're an unnamed country, or you know, unnamed kingdoms. They. Immigrants from some unknown eastern locale walk the streets of Nudelsta. Fruit from the west and textiles from the north are smuggled into our lands with abandon. The unknown is a place of magical appeal to me. What sights are there to be seen across the horizon? What strange music? What surprising smells? What fascinating spices and cuisine are the tempt the taste buds? All of these draw my curiosity, but more than that, all offer unimaginable opportunities for a merchant with business savvy and a healthy wanderlust. I hope the leaders of our lands move quickly to pen maps of these mysterious lands in the outer continent. Outer Continent. Hmm. Poor name for a universe of possibility. We are prisoners in a tiny cave called Solistia. 
satisfied by shadows cast by a light that streams in from outside the walls which can find us. Oh, took 45 minutes to get through. Right, so now that we know that. Kind of see part of one here. Let's see if we can head out this way. Let's do this one first, and then we'll check this one here. Now, but south from here is a dungeon, though. So I don't think we can go that way. I guess if we go east from south, I'm sorry, west from south and then south, that should lead us somewhere new. a showdown. Yeah. Oh boy. Here I come. I'm waiting. My turn. Elementary. My turn. How's this? Here goes. Huh? Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of Fortune! Alright! This happy I can do whatever I set my mind to! Arrow of Fortune, sorry! Even if I stumble. Get back up. It's straight south for me. on the wall there. Well now. I'm waiting. Well now. My turn. Not this time. Arrow of fortune. Oh, this you won't want to miss this. Arrow of fortune. I did it. 
Prepare yourself. I'll end it. It's over. I still have much to learn. Enforcing jam. Eastern Kusan. We go east, and there's a little dungeon right there. Heading west only heads to Ku. It doesn't. So it seems like there's no way over here. Which is unfortunate. So let's head north from here. Here I go. I'm just getting warmed up. Bring it on. My own dance. I owe you one. <sighs> I'm waiting. Too slow. <sighs> I'm just. <sighs> Western Gravel Wild. Okay, so town here. The dungeon right here. Or the dungeon maybe right here. That's probably nothing. Let's go try to get this uh, waypoint here. A show now. now then. Lion dance. Thank you. Bring it on. I don't want no trouble, friend. Now it begins. I'm waiting. What to do? What to do? This will make it all right. Here goes. Arrow of Forge, two objects. My turn. How's this? My turn.
a bolt of light. I'm terribly sorry. Thank you, Casty. The winds of favor bless. Hold your horses. What? Maybe next time. Uh, at least though for now. My turn. Okay. Odd Mo King three. Begins. I'm waiting. <laughs> what to do? What to do? <laughs> Elementary. Bring it on. <laughs> Arrow of fortune. <sighs> I can do whatever I set my mind to! Arrow of fortune! Prepare yourself. Choose your next move wisely. I'm just getting warmed up! Poison chop! Prepare yourself. I'm waiting. I return your wrath twofold. This will make it all Many right. thanks, Casti. Here I come. I'll end yeah. I'm sorry. Splitter. No elemental attack on it. This has our highest elemental attack, all of our weapons.
We're at the town. Let's ruin shrine. Great upgrade for Particio. Double great upgrade. Really good Agnea upgrade. Dagger in the rough. Accuracy and crit. Refune rod. Speed and evasion. Really good. And I can afford it all. Just. I mean, I'm the kind of guy like I I don't like spending money at shops and games until I know that I haven't found all the free stuff. <laughs> they might be better. And we have found a lot of free stuff that has been better. Like we found the double tomahawk, we found Wind Whisperer, the Fire Dragon's Glaive, we found the Seraphim Sphere. Great, the Guardian's Great Axe. We found some really good stuff. But like, I should keep on the course. On the, on the, uh... Keep on the course that I have set. Panted Blade. Hey. There we go. Got Hikari... Perfect weapon for him. Everybody here is expensive to talk to. Quartz. Quartz shield. Prevents blindness. Increases his defenses. Loses a bunch of health, though. I think it doesn't make sense to protect her against blindness. I don't want him to lose his health. Bring it to her.
No, you're a side quest guy. Didn't even notice. Got all the free stuff from here. Go we'll finish exploring this area and then back to getting the rest of the map. Honey. Bring it on. The rhino. Raging rhino. Trouble, friend. Long Can't sleep see. comes. I'm waiting. Bring it on. Arrow of fortune. My turn. Here. Time to shine. This is what it means to be a star. Arrow of fortune. This will make it all right. about that. Here goes. I got Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of fortune. Here I come. I'm waiting. Bring it on. It'll be all Thank right. Thank you. It's my turn now. I wonder what it'll be. Choose your next move wisely. Here I go. This will make it all right. It's my turn now. Forgive me. My turn. This will make it all right. I return your wrath to you it. It'll be all right. I return your wrath. I can still fight. Choose your next move wisely.
dance. You're a true friend. My friends, I've failed you. Coming right up. When the long sleep comes. Good effort. Bring it on. Coming right up. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm waiting. Here goes. Oh. No oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> the entire game. The entire game I haven't noticed that it can do both. This will make it all right. I can still fight. Choose your next move wisely. Bring it on. Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of Fortune! Now then! For a true friend, my turn. I'm waiting. At this rate. Axe attack. This will hurt. Can't be. How did this? You got me. Better chameleon. I don't want no trouble, friend. <laughs> Lion dance. I owe you one. Now it begins. I'm waiting. Here I go. Here goes. Yeehaw! Let's do it. Arrow of fortune. Time to shut here. I can do whatever I set my mind to. Arrow of fortune. My turn. How's this? <sighs> What to do? What to do? Axe attack! That's enough. Yeehaw! I got... Now it begins. Even if I stumble, I'll get back up.
Every ravine. Lost Tribe's Axe. Fully explored over here. We're well, not fully explored. We uncovered the map for. Go into Storm Hail. I'm waiting. I still have much to learn. If I must. Trying to force your way through? That's fine by me. On your guard. Now it begins. Choose your next move wisely. My turn. How's this? I return your wrath. Prepare yourself. My blade sings. Here I come. I fight for my friends. My blade sings. Too slow. I return your wrath. Now it begins. Choose your next move wisely. My turn. My blade sings. Here I come. I'll end this. I summon Brand. Good. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. You still have much to learn.
I shall be your opponent. Elementary. I'm just getting warmed up. I don't want no trouble, friend. <laughs> it's my turn now. Prepare yourself. I'm waiting. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of Fortune! Oh, this I can do whatever I set my mind to! Arrow of Fortune! <laughs> now it begins. Choose your next move wisely. My turn. Ah! Elementary. My turn. My blade sings. Don't. <laughs> Turn now. The winds of favor blow. That's in effect. This will make it Many all right. Many thanks, Casty. <laughs> I return your wrath twofold. It'll be all right. You're a true friend. Here I go. Chaos be upon you. Forgive me. I'm waiting. My turn. A bolt of lightning. Good effort. All right. You won't want to miss this. Arrow of fortune. I did it. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Let's do it. Arrow of fortune. Well now. <laughs> Chaos be upon you. Now it begins. Choose your next move wisely. I return your. Re I still have much to learn.
I'll be all right. Feeling all better. What to do? What to do? Maximize spell. Now then. Lion dance. Thank you. My turn. I'm waiting. Here I come. Prey must be weakened. Here goes. Bring it on. I think only Hikari can actually remove buffs. yourself. I'm waiting. Here goes. Yeah, let's do it. Arrow of fortune. Then you won't want to miss this. Arrow of fortune. My turn. Sword. Now. Excellent work, Hikari. <laughs> My turn. I'm just getting. <laughs> All in a day's work. I think that's everything from here. I was wrong. Secrets. An airing necklace. Unerring earring. There it is. Eighty. Now we can go. Do 
the storm hail snow. That right there. Just a fire. yourself I'm waiting bring it on arrow of fortune it's my turn now. together I can do whatever I set my mind to arrow of fortune now it begins Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath twofold. Elementary. Yeehaw! Arrow of fortune. What? I return your wrath All twofold. Right. For a true friend, <sighs> prepare yourself. I'm waiting. Well now. Axe attack it had to be done. My turn. <laughs> My journey will not end here. Oh, there's a thing here. You are a poison that must be now punished. Then. Lion dance! I'm feeling all better. Bring it on. What? Now it begins. I'm waiting. What to do, what to do. Axe attack. Here I go. You did well, Casty. Choose your next move wisely. Bring it. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of Forge got you! It's my turn now. You won't want to miss this. Arrow of fortune. I return your for the pride of Ku. Leopard and Plains Drake. Lion Dance. Thank you. Here I come. I'm waiting. Yeehaw! Hot 
Damn it. What to do? What to do? Elementary. <laughs> Bring it on. Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of Forge, two objects. Time to shine! This part, you won't want to miss this! Arrow of Fortune, I did it! My turn. Mm -hmm. How's this? You <laughs> fight <Darn>. dirty. <sighs> well now. My journey will not end here. Yeah, so it seems like if we go in from the bottom, it's the town. If we go in from the top, it's whatever this uh, dungeon or whatever. Must be purged. I'm just getting warmed up. Hot, ain't it? Here I come. I'm waiting. My turn. Elementary. Time to shine. Lion dance. I'm feeling all better. Alright, to get that, I can do whatever I set my mind to. Arrow of fortune, I did it! I wasn't expecting that. Raging Beast. Asian bow. Let's check something. 17. 167, 184, 167. Hmm. Had him focus too much on speed. Gotta give him that necklace we just got. Stairs here. Okay. Hey, what level this area was? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Gonna die instantly to whatever's here? Maybe it's not a. Uh... Nothing's attacking us. Maybe it's not a dungeon. Got a stone. So I guess this area must be for a side quest or something later. here now. Hello, people. You are a poison that must be well now. Lost Moking. I don't 
want no trouble, friend. Here I come. I'm waiting. Here goes. Arrow of fortune. Now, this group, I can do whatever I set my mind to. Arrow of fortune, sorry. Here I come. How's this? Who's next? For the pride of Ku. Are you my next patient? Now then! Lion dance! I owe you one! I'm just getting warmed up! Hot, ain't it? Prepare yourself. I'm waiting. Here I go. Elementary. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of fortune. It's my turn now. You won't want to miss this. Arrow of fortune. I did it! Now it begins. How's this? What to do? What to do? Axe attack! All right! The winds of favor, Bukhari! I wasn't expecting that!
Got Storm Hill on the map now. There it is. Oh, 56 to be able to get all of that stuff. And so I don't bother checking anybody else if... Most likely everybody's going to be like that. Out of guards here. And May Sword. And May Spear. Nobody of value. Not yet, anyway. Rich. Can't even talk to this guy. I guess we'll learn about all this later on. Now, have essentially the entire world map. Just missing the stuff that, like, I'm pretty sure that I'm still fairly certain that we need to get here from. The uh, the waterway. Like that's where that door is. That's in that's down there. He's just to here. Then here, here. Well, here I think we actually need to like take a canoe from Chopuhopu. Yeah, this one we'll just do this one now.
Now it begins. I'm waiting. It's my turn now. Lion dance. I'm feeling all better. Hot, eh? What to do? What to do? Elementary. Time to shine! This I can do whatever I set my mind to! Arrow of fortune, sorry! Bring it on! I got more grit than I can handle! <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of fortune! Got you! Now it begins. Mm -hmm. Allow me. What to do? Ha, ha! I know no cure for evil. I shall be your opponent. Well now. Elementary. Now then. Lion dance. I'm feeling all better. Ugh. Here goes. It'll be all you right. You have healing hands. Here I come. I'm waiting. Now it begins. Choose your next move wisely. I'm just getting... Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of fortune! Nice! Time to get... I can do whatever I set my mind to! Arrow of fortune! It can't be... This will make it all right. Ikari! Lion dance! Here I go. This will make it Time all to right. Get back to work. Ikari. I owe you. Here I come. I'm waiting. Yeehaw! Here I go. Elementary. Here I go. 
This will make it all right. I'm just getting warmed up. What? Time to shine. You fight dirty. You got it. This will make it all right. What to do? What to do? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. Arrow of fortune. It's my turn now. Now, I'll end this. I summon Brand. Who's next? There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Access to the Nameless Village now. That part of the map. That guy looks special. Turn eight. I have to assume that that means you're too strong for Akari. Let's find out. Raise your weapon. Fine, we fight. On your guard. Prepare yourself. Show me your might. Here I come. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath. I return your wrath to now it begins. My blade sings. Here I come. Allow me. My turn. My blade sings. Now it begins. How's this? Here I come. 
My blade sings. My turn. I fight for my friends. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Now it begins. Allow me. Prepare yourself. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath. I return your wrath to here I come. How's this? My turn. Allow me. I can still fight. How's this? Allow me. I can still fight. How's this? Now it begins. My blade sings. Prepare. I'll end this. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Now it begins. Allow me. Here I come. Choose your next move wisely. Now it begins. How's this? I return your wrath to- Here I come. Allow me. I return your wrath to- How's this? Now it begins. Allow me. Prepare yourself. My blade sings. Now it... I fight for my friends. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. I can still fight. How's this? <sighs> Allow me. My turn. How's this? <sighs> now it begins. Allow me. Prepare yourself. How's this? Now it begins. Allow me. I can still... How's this? Here I come. My blade sings. Now it begins. My blade sings. My turn. I'll end this. I summon Brand. Good. I still have much to learn. You still have much to learn. Doom all your SP to unleash a pull arm attack. Oh, thank you. Mythical horn. Thick and heavy horn. Perhaps it can be used for something. Maybe.
a mental attack hat. Wondering Wood. Leading necklace. ADSP. Sixty seven. Giver of Destruction. Harbor, this area right here. Get there. Stand aside or fight. Prepare yourself. I'm waiting. Yeah. 
well now. It's my turn now. Here I go. I'm just getting warmed up. to divvy up the earnings. Now it begins. I wonder if they're out for a certain amount of time or if they're out for the whole thing. I'm waiting. What to do? What to do? Elementary. And your 5,000 help. <sighs> well, now. This will make it all right. Prepare yourself. Allow me. My Turn them on a time. Elementary. Prepare yourself. I'm waiting. Time to shine. Lion dance. For a true friend. It'll be all You're right. You're too kind, Articio. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Choose your next move wisely. Hold it together. Elementary. Time to shine. Lion dance. I'm feeling all better. <laughs> now it begins. My blade sings. now here you go thank you I return your rat my turn I'm waiting what to do what to do bring it on It'll be all right. <laughs> Pesty. <sighs> Here I come.
Stay still. Now it begins. Allow me. Uh-oh. It'll be all You're right. You're too kind, Articio. Time to shine. My turn. You did well, Casty. I fight for my friends. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Oh, shucks. It'll be all right. All right. I can do whatever I set my mind to! Arrow of fortune! Here I go. This will make it all Thank right. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> At this rate... This will make it all right. I'm just getting warm. Yeehaw! Let's do it! Fortune. Time to shine. Lion dance. Thank you. Now it begins. I'm waiting. It's my turn now. Now it begins. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath. I'm twofold. just getting warmed up. Here I go. Now it begins. My blade sings. <laughs> I return your wrath to You and I make a deal. This is bad. <sighs> this will make it all right. Hikari. This will make it all right. <laughs> Arrow of fortune. My turn. This will make it all right. Time to shine! I can do whatever I set my mind to! Arrow of fortune! My turn. I fight for my friends. 
I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Here I go. Maximize spell. All right. You won't hit me. Now then. You won't hit me. Hold it. It's kind of weird that. Merchant has the sidestep deal and not the dancer. <laughs> this will make it all right. All right. The winds of favor blow. Prepare yourself. I'm waiting. Here I come. How's this? I can still fight. Allow me. Prepare yourself. My blade sings. Here I come. How's this? Allow me. It can't be. Oh, I think that we could probably beat that thing the way we are now. I don't feel like putting in the effort for it. So we'll just call it there, and then the next time we'll do a main session where we'll do Agneas and... Oswald's next chapters. for this one thanks for your step by check me out I had to finally be back playing this game hopefully at some point we'll finally be able to finish this dude's side quest since we have yet to run into an octopuff and have me remember to actually use him in battle <laughs> or did we and I just forgot I don't know regardless Next time, it'll be time for figuring things like that out. <laughs> Please. Everybody check me out. In the playthrough, appreciate you all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Bay Victus, Bye, Zinomaris, and bye.